And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Airport CEO. All right, a um, couple things is, you know, I've, I've been sort of just kind of biding my time, doing a little bit of planning over here, trying to trying to get something going um, while we sort of save up some money. Um, we've got some money coming in here quite a bit. If I don't do any uh, construction at all, I mean, look at that. At the end of the day, eight hundred sixty thousand in one day. That is not bad. But I have been hit now twice with this dangerous package thing. And basically, if I look at my emails, um, it says I've been charged five grand for a fine and make sure my conveyor belt layout is correctly set up. And I have triple checked this whole thing, and it's. It's all good. Like, I don't know what else I could do with this. Um, I could possibly, maybe, possibly, maybe, add another station like this on this end. Because if it gets all the way through all those, then, you know, everything is good. But maybe, maybe we can tweak this a little bit and say yep let's put this here do that and if it gets through that inspection I mean we have to just say this is this is good to go right we just have to be at some point we just have to let it go something like that because this is rather annoying okay let's get these guys building here I want a security officer standing there before I send this on through. Because if he detects something and it's bad, he'll send it down here and there's another guy down here that will basically verify it for me. Okay. So what we want then, oh my god, running late, what, what is causing these planes to run late? You literally boarded. I'm having some issues with people appearing for some reason down here. Like, the passengers should only be up on this top level, and yet I'm seeing passengers down here there should not be this dude down here like there's no reason and i and i really honestly have no idea like what's going on here um so i am likely going to bulldoze these doors because you can see there's ones like around every single door so bulldoze those doors I don't know why some of these are open. That's really bizarre. I don't want doors around anywhere close to where that is right now. Okay, let's continue with these shenanigans here. Okay. I don't know what there's a there's gonna be a lull in checked bags here for a second. No, see there's a whole bunch of people now going there. It's the it's the problem with a really busy airport. There's no downtime. Um so what we're gonna do is take that Oh, 
Come on. Any second. Any time now. Any moment. Bingo. Oh, there's going to be a lot of bags right there. Yeah, it's going to take 20 minutes for them to actually come back here and build it because a truck has to arrive. Like, there's this whole frustrating process to building stuff. You can't just build stuff. You got to do this whole thing here. And it's like, okay, well, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. It's going to take them a while. Like, any, any moment now. Oh, they already built it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a random chance or if the bag actually is flagged as bad. Because it's making its way through here. I mean, I'm not seeing any any bag get rejected. You know, maybe we could just send all bags baggage scanner one like I don't know that's the only other weak point right here I could literally send all the bags through this scanner but mm. If this thing doesn't detect any suspicious activity, that might be an issue. I mean, if I get hit with it again, I'll definitely have to rethink this whole setup. Because every time that happens, I lose a little rating on my security. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to... How else to do it? All right, getting back to what we were doing here. Um, let's go up. I'm gonna add, okay, first is terminal walls. We need, some walls in here. Yeah, I'm just going to build it straight up over whoever is standing in the doorway. There's, There are definitely bugs still with this game. There's, there's no reason why these bugs should exist. You literally, in order to, like, fix a lot of those issues, you have to, like, save, exit the game. And, I mean, exit the game all the way to desktop. And then restart the game and reload okay so we want doors let's put them far away And I did the same thing to my prototype, you know, the, the work in progress terminal that's on the other side. Uh, that's not built yet. I did the same sort of thing. Making sure the doors on the lower, oops, on the lower side are not anywhere close to the jetway. Maybe, hopefully, that'll take care of some of this issue. Looks like... Yeah, this person's still stuck here. Like, 
how in the world did they get down here? Like, there is no way that they were able to get down here. Everything, every access point is guarded by staff only. So how did they get down here? There is no way. I, I just don't understand how they could have gotten down here. Like, how did they get into the middle of the floor? It's it's like security and staff zone, as far as the eye can see. How did they get this far? I don't I don't get it. If anybody else has any issues with that, I would I'm all ears because wow. I had to build a I had to build a, a little bathroom here because I was having like all these security guards here at shift change. All of these guys. We're walking out, going up here, okay, coming up here, coming out here, walking all the way, like, way down here to this jetway, going up the jetway, coming back down here, and then going into the bathroom. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> I just was, it was dumbfounding. I was just sitting here going, what in the world are they doing? Uh, okay, so as you can see, we've got some of the stuff ready to go. Um, I've got the doorways down here, sort of in the middle of where the jetway is, not anywhere close to where this is. Now, I noticed every one of these little notches here that these stands created, every one of these was marked International Zone. So that's got me a little concerned that these big aircraft are all going to be International. Okay, um, here is the access point that I've I've built. I've got um, a regular stair. I've got an escalator. I even have an elevator here. Um, oh yeah, I need to finish this off because this is going to be a very very busy uh, planning mode. Okay. So this is where most, this is where the people are going to be coming from. Now I want to leave some space maybe for more security. We don't have nearly as many buffered security zones as over there. And uh, these planes are going to be, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people on these planes. Let's put it that way. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty, pretty intense. Okay, so we're going to do security, like so, then staff, like so, that's going to be a staff room here, so we want a door on the other side of that. Am I paused? I am paused. Let's unpause that. Okay, so can I just straight up do some zones here? Staff zone. Okay. Plenty. Plenty of room here for other things. Okay, there's some staff zone. This is going to be a staff room. And then we're going to have, as you can see, I've got a baggage loading area for every single nodule here. Um, because you can only put four, I think, four, four large stands on a baggage thing. So we're going to need some baggage. First, I would like to actually start building some of this stuff. Where did these guys come? Oh, yeah, these guys are doing all the doors and such. 
re redoing all these. And I'm hoping booting everybody out of here that shouldn't be here. Um, zones. Yeah, pretty much all my zones are s done. I don't have a door over here. I missed one. I think everybody else is pretty good and taken care of here. Just want to make sure there's access. Looks like we got rid of the peoples. Okay. So, baggage and check-in. It's going to be another big, huge thing that we have to figure out. First, let's actually start. Let's actually start building. As you can see, the terminal now includes it's just all of the things: public transport. It's going to have a bunch of stuff. Okay, so let's get to building. I like to get the. all the roads done I just have to walk far and wide for these as you can see I kind of redid the layout for that and I got one more tank on it and that's the maximum number of tanks by the way you can't have any more than that So that's a bunch of roads there. Are those done already? There we go. For some reason, they weren't highlighted. Okay, let's get these side roads in. Like so, and one down here probably, yep. All of the workers now. Everybody has something to do. And then I can build, you know, the fuel. I can build the depots, get those ready to go. And figure out baggage. And moving people around. Because there's no... Like, I don't know... I really don't think that I can have workers cross, like these are not zoned here. And I don't think I can zone them. Yeah, so you can't zone the roads. Even though these, these are roads and zoned security and staff only, you can't do regular, regular roads like that. So what I'm thinking about doing Oh Lord, um, is going down. That is an issue though. That is gonna be a major issue. Like how am I gonna get into this terminal? This section here needs access from below. Ooh, this is gonna be a challenge. What am I gonna do about this? Um, I could. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Can't do it over here. I was thinking about sneaking a little something over here. Like, it would have to be right where the cur. It would have to be, like, right there. And that's going to block all sorts of things. Oh, that's just not good. So I'm going to have to do it from above, I think. Come up here. And have a stairwell down. Like here. Am 
Must be placed in... Oh. Crap. Okay. Okay, so let's do... Let's do something like this. We're gonna go... Right there. Right. If we go up here. Uh, up here is going to be a nice boxed in. Oh man, those lag spikes are brutal. Yeah, the game is really starting to suffer. Okay. What is this? Well, yeah, it's not usable for passengers. It's the whole point. This is all staff. Okay, now, now we have access down this section, and this section we have access already because of these stairs here. Um, I've already got these specified as uh, staff only. So now we need Something over here. So you can see we have a staff room already. So I'm thinking if we grab these stairs. And we kind of just say, hey, let's just way up here. Uh, we are right on that line, so... Put that there, and then we'll have another one. Well, yeah, right in here. Why not? Okay. So now, oh, we need another one yet. Wow. No, not a medium. Good Lord. Maybe even sneak it back like this. Because they can go up this, up to there, down to there, and they can have access to all of this. That's the whole point. Okay, so now let's see if we can copy this. But I don't want... Uh, see, that's the problem with copy and paste. I don't want to actually place the thing at this level. Maybe it'll work. No, just go away. I'll go over here. Nope. Planning mode. Okay, so I think I did around there. Yeah, every time I build now, there's a little noticeable lag spike. Oh my god. And it's it's intrusive, boy. It is Oh, man, it it's it's very noticeable. Staff only. 
can we get staff only on those? And let's get staff only here. There we go. Any more? I think that's it. I was, yeah, I was super worried about uh, access to all of these. So I really wanted to hammer that out and make sure that we, we could move our personnel everywhere we need to. And the workers and everybody else that needs to be a part of this. So, yeah, we may end up having to drop down our service here, our service road, and adding more security. Uh, what? Don't fade out when I'm mousing over you. Flight in 30... To uh, where is it? Oh my God! It's a GA. You're gonna you're gonna throw that fit about a GA flight. You are interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, a bunch of security areas. We have a staff zone in the making here. I would love, love, love to be able to just copy and paste some of this stuff. No, not that. No, not that again. This one. Oh, yay, we can. Nice. Although my doors don't really work here. Wow. Okay. New plan. Comfy couches is what you're going to get, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people sitting in here. Uh, yeah. And I also can't forget about lounges. I'm assuming that we can do lounges with, with this giant terminal. We could even build enough of them. For one, you know, one for every airline that we're that we've got. Not sure how, in the grand scheme of things, that's going to work, but uh, clear all types. We're going to have passenger service, security, janitor, and service technician, and we may even do ramp agents. Okay, and then up here. Where? Somewhere. There it is. Right in here. We have another one. So I'm going to copy all of these. We're going to pop up here. We're going to say, yep, another set. All right, zones. Staff zone, I think this was set already. Staff room. Uh, 
and this one's going to be not a food room, bathroom. And this is going to be for staff only. Okay. And clear all. Passenger service, secure, no, not security officer. Janitor, ramp agent. And maybe service technician, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we're also going to need... You know, they, they, if they want to check their email or something, you know, during the day, gotta let them be able to do that. It's hard to see with all the zone, all the stuff in the way. It's really hard to see sometimes what you're what you're clicking. Oh my goodness! Boy, when I start building this, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be really expensive. There we go. Bathroom is ready to go. This car isn't even usable for... Well, it's not supposed to be usable for passengers. Oh, I missed one. All right. So, staff zone. I hear building going on. What exact... Oh, I'm... I'm building the roads, right? I remember things. It'll be a miracle if I'm able to get this thing done without lagging out the game. It'll be a minor miracle. I'm telling you, this game is not ready. Not optimized. Uh, okay. We have progress being made on the roads. Definite progress. Oh yeah, lots and lots of progress. Excellent. Um, so yeah, we have a bunch of building to do and uh, we'll come back and hopefully start prototyping what we're gonna need for check-in desks, which we're probably gonna need quite a bit of. Self-check-in desks, baggage claims, um, yeah, I'm more and more doubting if we're going to want even more, even more space for this terminal. So all the bags are going to come down here. Having a bag claim over here might be wise. So, hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to have to be, this road right here is, uh, might have to go. Because we have access up above. We can, we can get places. Uh, so... We really don't need it, so we're gonna we're gonna cancel this and that, and that's all we need to do. This this will this will work out fine. And then once that's demolished, I'll I'll extend this terminal out so we can extend this thing way out right about there I don't want these two to touch because they'll merge and that would cause <laughs> untold amount of misery um, so this yeah this whole setup might have problems um, strictly related to uh, passports I, I did notice in security there are passport checkpoints right 
Um, I don't know if you need to. I don't, I don't think you need them. Hmm. Passengers are on international flights. The fact that it, what has me worried is the fact that every one of these large stands had an international zone right at the entrance. This little square right here was international zone on each one of these. So that means when these are finally built, uh, we might need to mark the whole entire terminal international zone, which means this whole setup, all of the security is going to have to be revamped um, and funnel people into a giant area for passport check-ins. That's what my that's what my worry is. Because um, doing that up here or up here is going to cause its own headaches. Um, I, and I don't know, having never done this, I'm not sure how the security is going to meet up. So if I like build this. Passport check-in. Yeah, see? It has to be... Oh, do this. Yeah, it has to be in a secure zone where part of it is not in a secure zone. So I might need a whole other set. How are you supposed to do secure zones? I don't, I don't understand. Whatever. How are you supposed to have an unsecured zone? Right? How are you supposed to do this? You, you're supposed to have security. And somehow that security goes away. And then you have a passport zone. Passport checkpoint must cross international zone. Maybe that. Okay. So maybe I will be able to get away with maybe having these two terminals up here. Or these two sections. Because we have the... We have these, right? We could add a passport zone in here somewhere. Somehow. Uh, well, we have the stairwells. That's one thing. Ooh. Maybe not. Man, I just don't know. This is... I didn't plan for this very well, did I? All right. Well, anyway, there's some building to be done. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.